we will also automate a lot more. So just again, taking the example of quick service restaurants where Taco Bell is now showing uh, models of an elevated restaurant that has three drive-through lanes and you'll get your burrito through a pneumatic tube and you know, you'll just drive on. Uh, it's the typical route it takes inside you as well. But um, <laughs> we're gonna see a lot of automation at McDonald's. We're gonna see a lot, you know, all the quick service businesses, anyone that can automate their service and raise productivity and lower costs will be doing that aggressively over the next several years. So there will be trade-offs. Costs may go up in some areas. Amazon's gonna be using robots on the factory floor. So 60 Minutes, which is never in front of the curve on economic issues, did profile a robotics company that Amazon is using where the robot can load 800 boxes onto a conveyor belt in an hour. An individual can't do that. So individuals, humans, will be supervisors and people who fix the robotics and the software. Same if we get autonomous trucking. You'll have a trucker who right now could make 80 to $120,000 a year. And, and admittedly, it is a very difficult job, right? We know why some people are turning away from trucking. It's a hard job, comes with addiction, comes with danger, and some things like that, just given the intensity, you know, you get paid by the mile, what have you. Um, but when you get an automated truck, and you, the, the, the driver, if you will, or the, accompany, the accompanying individual will also have to know the electronics and, and the software in order to fix it. So it may still be a decent paying job, but that's also net-net going to bring down shipping costs too. So there are a lot of changes that I think we're going to go through, and it's just not going to happen overnight.